Hi, my name is Chad Sikharis, the National Sales Manager for NITEC Video Transmission Solutions. NITEC's been manufacturing products specifically for the security industry for the past 25 years. Our manufacturing and global product distribution center is located just outside of Chicago, Illinois. Since the inception, NITEC's primary focus is to make traditional CCTV transmission products to utilize untraditional cabling infrastructure. Our UTP balance and long-range video transmission products have been utilized in government, retail, and large gaming facilities for over the last decade. At ISC this year, we're extremely excited to debut our multi-channel EtherStretch solution. The EtherStretch solution provided by NITEC allows you to put IP cameras over coaxial cable. We introduced this technology approximately five years ago, where you had a transmitter and a receiver that allow you to do high-speed data over coaxial cable. With our large install base of product, it became apparent that we needed to come up with a multi-channel solution that was more sophisticated and allowed you to put multiple cameras over coaxial cable as a head-end solution instead of a multiple single-channel receivers. Let's take a look at what we came up with. The unit we're showing here today is a 16-channel ether stretch receiver. We offer the system in both 8 and 16 channels. The concept behind the design is simple. When upgrading the site that was previously installed using an analog camera, there's typically a network of coaxial cables strung throughout the facility. Industry studies indicate that an average existing coaxial cable run is 550 feet from the DVR to the camera. That's almost twice the distance allowable by today's networking standards. With the EtherStretch solution, you simply disconnect 16 BNC connectors from the rear of your DVR and reconnect them to the BNC inputs of the EtherStretch receiver. The EtherStretch receiver is equipped with a PoE Plus power source, which is used to send power over the coaxial cable to the connected devices. In our case, they're typically IP cameras, but it could be any network device that requires PoE. At the end of the coax, we typically find an analog camera. We will disconnect the BNC connector from the camera and reconnect it to the BNC input of the EtherStretch transmitter, which we have here. We'll then connect the IP camera to the transmitter using a standard CAT5 or CAT6 patch cord. The PoE power, which is sent from the head-end unit, is provided to the transmitter and it's also connected to the connected device, which, which requires the PoE. It is an important feature as most IP devices, such as IP cameras on the market today, are PoE compliant, either 802.3AF or 802.3AT. That standard clearly states that the connected device, and in our example here would be an IP camera, must request PoE before the sourcing equipment can begin sending PoE. Many of the manufacturers in the security industry are neglecting this part of the standard, which means that they're typically sending voltage to an IP device regardless if the device requires PoE or not. Through the rear of the device, there's a gigabit LAN port. The gigabit LAN port connects to your NVR or to your network. There's actually two gigabit LAN ports, so if you had multiple devices that needed to exceed the one gigabit capability, you have a second gigabit available to you to connect to your network so that you get 100 megabits per port at 16 ports is 1.6 gigabits of throughput. The front of the unit displays LED indicators which offer an at-a-glance status by port as to the network connection and the speed. It also verifies that PoE is being sent over the coaxial cable. Additionally, the units are designed with internal air circulation to prevent overheating. Should a temperature ever exceed normal operating temperatures, or in the event that the airflow becomes obstructed and the temperature was to be exceeded, the trouble light will illuminate and an audible alarm will sound to prevent the need for power down of the device. As you can see, we've engineered a solution that allows you to utilize existing coaxial cable without having to abate the existing infrastructure. This reduces not only your labor time and your materials such as J-hooks, cable tray, ladder rack, conduit, but it also makes it so that you can utilize the existing infrastructure and save time and money on your installation. Thanks for watching, and if you would like more information on the EtherStretch product or any of the other NITEC products that we have to offer, please contact us at 800-528-4343, or you can find us on the web at www.nitech.net.